Well, here is Tyler's four channel learning prop controller. Just want to show you one of the simple things that you can do with it. Uh, I've already programmed it to uh, turn on three separate store-bought props and as you know these things are either light censored, sound censored, uh, they're definitely not motion censored. So the reason that I like using this board for these particular props is if you walk into a room and it's like slap your hands real hard, all these props would go off all at once uh, or else you'd have to put light toward these props and pass through the light in order to activate them which sometimes can be a real nuisance so uh, what I've done here is I've hooked up the test me wires uh, on the back of these props and there's one of the test buttons that I took apart or cut the wires off to hook up to this mirror and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this thing as if the sensor is triggered so you can see that you can actually control these things one at a time <clears throat> this particular prop i actually took apart to see what made it click on the inside of it so that's a different story And some props just run too long and if you notice that you hit the test button while it's activated it'll turn back off and this mirror is a good point of that because this mirror is loud and uh, it goes on seems like forever sometimes so when the mirror clicks on I actually turn it back off by hitting the button on it again to activate you hitting the test uh, button. You can see that I hit the button so it would turn off instead of it going through its full cycle. So that is uh, just one simple thing that you can do with this prop. Uh, for Halloween I actually had this thing hooked up to uh, four separate props. So that way when you walked into the room you'd actually uh, trip the motion sensor which I had inside this little PVC tube. And uh, Tyler has these things for sale at uh, a reasonable cost. Uh, you can get the board and, and everything with it as far as the relays, resistors, and chips and that type of stuff. Uh, what's extra is the MP3 player right here on the side here. Uh, MP3 player is extra along with the SD card on the back of it. Uh, your PIR is also extra along with a uh, 36 inch cable. So if you want to get the whole kit, you need to get uh, everything but some people already got PR some people already may already have this uh, so but it's a really nice unit uh, something else that you can do with it which right now I got the volume turned uh, down low but what you can also do with this thing you also have it playing ambient sound and so there's the ambient sound and then so if you actually had this thing hooked up to uh, just a regular prop and you have the ambient sound playing in the background and then once you uh, trigger the prop so for instance if you had a groundbreaker or something you have this playing in the background and when you trigger the prop uh, you would hear uh, whatever you want the prop to uh, sound like. So that's what the trigger sound I got playing. Uh, this was actually running my uh, uh, Jack in a Box. And this is dark ambient music for uh, the Jack in a Box. But uh, there's just uh, a couple of things that, that I could do. So uh, we'll show you some more things that you can do with this thing uh, and some later videos.